then move on to the next content block that is external content so external content block helps us to fetch the content from external server or from external website so let's say if i'll type www.google.com then what will show me it will whatever the current content is available on this particular web page it is going to fetch me that thing and uh, show it over there but we don't generally use this external content block because um, you know it always has some issues with the styling and all so based on the capability of the email message it can only render the html or maybe some part of the css but uh, when we open this page in the browser then it will open up uh, all the css and the styling and everything so what it does it basically fetches all the html code from the page uh, from google.com and load it over here so whatever, whatever can be rendered it will render but uh, due to the capability if something cannot be rendered then it will not okay so this kernel block is used to fetch the external content from a external website or external server we have two different methods to the for the retrieval the first one is the immediately so whatever the content that is appearing right now that will be sent to the subscriber the next option is the send time so this url will be executed at the send time so right now let's say i'm configuring this and i want to send this email tomorrow so if i want to show the content that is appearing over here right now then i will choose immediately but let's say this content might change tomorrow so what i'll do i'll choose the send time and whatever the content that will be present at that point of time that will be uh, fetched from that particular site and it will appear over there and then it will be sent to the subscriber so we have two different um, ways for the retrieval so let me just see the changes now Block. Yeah, let's talk about the layout content block. Uh, so layout content block is generally used when we want to form a structure. So let's say um, on an e-commerce website, you must have seen that uh, we have an image and next to the image, we have some description, we have some price, and then we have, let's say, add to cart button, right? So we always have this uh, same structure uh, whenever we are placing something. So in, this, in the email message also, we can have the same structure, right? Uh, so when we are placing the same comment box in the same fashion, then what we can do instead of dragging and dropping them one by one and on the email message on the email template what we can do we can choose one layout and let's say um, this one or uh, and we click on the select button and then what we can do uh, we can have two different comment box over here we can save this layout and every time we want to choose this we can do so uh, let me show you another layout that we generally use uh, so you must have seen when we receive the email message uh, it generally has one brand logo and then the hero image so instead of you know um utilizing them one by one what we can do I'll click on the select button and here we can have let's say a band logo so i'll choose the band logo over here
let's say this one and okay and i'll have one more image over here for my hero image so i'll click on the browse button and i'll select another image Uh, so what I want to do in each and every email message, I want to include the band logo and then the um, uh, this hero image. So I can just save this layout and instead of selecting this one by one, um, I'll say layout demo. I'll save this and uh, after that. So in the text message now, now what I can do, I can just uh, directly drag and drop this layout and then it will contain both the blocks. So let me delete this one for now. Um, and I'll go to the content and I'll drag and drop this layout content block. So if you want to have multiple content blocks in one, if you want to, you know, um, form a layout so that we don't have to repeat the same thing again and again. Uh, and if you want to, you know, form a combination of multiple content blocks in one uh, structure, then we can go ahead with the layout content block. Uh, let's talk about the social follow. So social follow content block helps us uh, or helps the organization uh, so that uh, the subscribers can follow them uh, on their preferred social media network. So let's say if company's account is available on Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn and they want the subscribers to follow them uh, on the social media platform, let's say www.facebook.com slash nto so let's say this is the facebook page of the organization and then they want to follow this okay so we can just have the link over here and if somebody clicks on this they will be directed to the uh, facebook page and then they can follow from there so we can add all the social media networks that we have available over here let's say pinterest um instagram and those things and then we have the icon styling either we can have this or maybe this one uh this black and white or maybe the small icon something like that and then we have the block settings uh, where we can have add the background color um padding margin and these things so it looks horizontal like it looks better in horizontal layout okay, so social follow helps you or helps the subscriber to um, follow the organization on the different social media platforms so i'll click social follow uh, next one we have is social share so the difference between the social follow and the social share is uh, using the social follow, the subscribers can follow the Twitter handle or social media, like follow the organization on the uh, on different social media platforms. Well, in case of social share, it means that we are going to share this email. We are going to share this email content on our social media platform. Okay, so here you can see we do not have any link over here because whenever somebody will click on the Facebook, they will be redirected to their own Facebook account. And from there, they can share this email content with the uh, with their friends. Or maybe on the Twitter, they want to uh, share this email content or they want to forward this email to a friend. So that is something they can do. Or if you want to share this email with, on the uh, in the LinkedIn. 
So whenever they click on this, it will open their own Facebook account. And then uh, we will have this email message in the form of a link. So they can share this. Now, if somebody clicks on that particular uh, in the post on the Facebook, then they will be able to see the content that we uh, that is sent to the subscriber. let's save this so should we share 